the original business started as family businesses. We both had grandfathers that started in sail making in the early 1920s. Um, a combination of two families, Bizet and McMaster. And then uh, in 1998, I think it was, Richard and I decided to join the two businesses together. You know, right from the very early days when we first saw a super yacht come into Auckland, we were trying to figure out how we'd get ourselves into that. We were trying to figure out how we could establish a market in New Zealand that could grow internationally. And it's quite a challenge. I mean, we're at the other end of the world. Even though we're a sailing nation, um, the numbers here are still really small compared to worldwide. You know, one super yacht order was more than the whole New Zealand market combined. So, you know, they, they really were we could take a, a small family business and turn it into something decent. As far as how we stack up amongst the other sail makers around the world, we are at the top of the tree. You know, we have some competition at the top of that tree, don't get me wrong. And, you know, one of the lofts in particular is very much the Goliath and we're David throwing stones at them, there's no doubt about that. And, and we get quite a lot of enjoyment out of that. New Zealanders are very good at just going in and figuring out a problem once they're immersed in it. And, uh, and that's exactly what you know, we've done right through America's Cups and Volvos and around the world yacht races. You know, the New Zealanders have always been very highly regarded. We can be talking about an idea on the Monday, we can have it on the floor being manufactured Wednesday, it'll be on the boat Friday or Saturday, and then, uh, and then by Sunday afternoon we can assess whether it's a good idea or not. New Zealanders are good about um creating a nice, honest relationship with our international clients about actually what is best. Because at the end of the day, we love to win. And you know, if our sales are winning, that's good for everyone.